this particular sound we have heard every time we saw falling bombs in movies or cartoons. Ever wondered how it comes or do falling bombs even make such a sound? The answer to this is a an yes and a no. To discover the origin of whistling sound associated with falling bombs or sometimes even falling cartoons, we'll have to travel back in time. During World War I, rifled barrel mortars were some of the deadliest weapons used in battles. For those of you who don't know what mortars exactly are, it is basically a short tube designed to fire projectiles at the enemy. Unlike shells of normal mortars, the rifled ones have special ring at their base, called the obturating ring. When the shell is fired, the relatively soft obturating ring disfigures. So, as the shell propagates through air, the air drag causes high frequency vibrations in the obturating ring, resulting in the whistling sound. This was one of the earliest encounter of the bomb whistle sound relationship. The sound because of mortar shells does not always occur. It depends on various factors like material of the obturating ring, barrel length, atmosphere, etc. And etc. In the following footage, the shell silently hits the target. But in the upcoming one, the shell screams towards the target. Though motor shell fires were the first encounter, it is not the main reason for the popular sound. The real reason lies in Second World War. The World War II was in full swing with Germany attacking Poland. During Poland's invasion by Germany, the German Air Force consisted of the famous dive bombers called Struzkan... I can't get it right. In short, they used to call it the Stuka. The Stuka dive bombers were mounted with propeller-driven siren along the landing gear. Every time the bombers dived to bomb, the siren would start the well-known screeching sound. The sirens were put by the Germans to intimidate and instill fear in the enemies. The sound later became the symbol of German Air Force propaganda and the sirens came to be called the Jericho Trumpets after the biblical battle of Jericho. The sound was very effective in reducing the enemy morale. So the Germans even went ahead in installing the whistles in their bombs too. This means falling bombs never really make any noise but it is the siren that was installed in them that did. Today, the sound with the falling frequency of a whistle has become a common cinematic convention. Without this sound, I doubt whether my childhood would have been ever complete. This sound has brought in a sense of fear, happiness and even humor. Above all, it has many memories left unsaid. Thank you for watching till the end of the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you love it, you can subscribe to my channel. Also, there is always room for improvement and that's where the comment section is.